lest she ever forgets. One five seven six two two. A number that once replaced a name. It was a um, unhuman uh, act. He did like cows. They felt like cows. Like uh, you go, this is your new name, a number. But Yosef Diamant was a number that beat the odds. He survived the extermination camp at Auschwitz. His daughter Yona and granddaughter Elie tattooed themselves with the same death camp number the Nazis had branded on him. To never forget, to never let it happening again. This is why uh, I love Israel so much, because this is our place. If people forget the Holocaust, I think it will be happening again. The sign over the Auschwitz gate read, Work will set you free. The Nazis gassed Diamant's mother and three siblings. The children were destined to, to death, to burn. And she didn't want to leave them, so, so she went with them. She says her father escaped by hiding among other prisoners. Later he dodged a firing squad by faking death. He came to the State of Israel as soon as it was declared in 1948. He really survived, he really uh, fight for living. Across Jerusalem, a year-end school play tells of other survivors. A group of Jewish children transported to Auschwitz in winter 1944. Some Israelis say the lessons of the Holocaust are key to understanding the identity of Israel. Israel is not just some place the Jews go to after the Holocaust because, the, because of the horrors. Israel is what it is even without the Holocaust. But it would have been a different Israel. Eli knows that to make peace, both Israelis and Palestinians must compromise. But she says the existence of Israel and its security is not up for negotiation. The Jews have a, a little dot in the map. A little, you can't see it. It's so small. It's so. This is the the only place is ours. This is why we are fighting, and I think we will fight forever. <laughs> Her grandfather died three years ago, aged eighty-five. He'd come from the hell of Auschwitz to his promised land. The number is uh, writing on his grave. He asked. Chat Chomesh Sheva Shesh Time Stein. Carl Penhall, CNN, Jerusalem.